Hello again, it's Debbie from acrylicpouring.com. This video is a quick follow-up to one that I released yesterday where I would used some um, beautiful pastel colours and span a record here in my spinner. Um, and so today I've got some leftover paints in my cup. Um, I've scraped all my colours in together and I'm going to use them on a canvas panel. So just a quick recap, I'm using this violet in uh, an economy paint here. And then I've got these craft paints from Americana. I have some nice pastel colours, purple cow, sour apple and bubblegum pink. And I mixed them all with some Floetrol and a few drops of silicon. And I'm just matching them with a little bit of white as well. So yesterday I span a record um, and obviously did a, a spiral pour in a circle and that was very, very light pastel colours, which is unusual for me. It was definitely outside my uh, comfort zone. It made me feel a bit odd to look at them. But today, I was thinking, I've had a lot of trouble in the past with these canvas panels that they um, warp. So what I've done, I've taken advice from others. Oh, that. I've gessoed a good thick cross on the back between um, the corners like this. Um, and we'll see if that will hopefully prevent some of the warping that I have. Because what I've managed to do is create beautiful paintings and then as they've dried, the, the moisture has soaked into the panel and they've warped and I've you know lost half the paint off the side or you know things just haven't worked out as nicely. So I thought if I spin, then what's gonna happen is a load of the excess paint is gonna be removed and I'm gonna end up with less paint on the panel. And I'm thinking if I do that, then hopefully um, the panel isn't gonna warp. And I thought I might even leave it stuck down here and that would also help to prevent that, I'm thinking. So we'll see. So these are the colours, the pink, purple, uh, the lilac and the green. Those are already in my cup. And then I had some of the, the richer dark purple and some white. The record I just yesterday came out very, very light pastel colours. So although there's quite a bit of purple in here, I'm going to just add a bit more to this one because I would like to see if I can get a bit more contrast. I would like to see if I can get a bit more of the darker purple coming through with all of these lighter colours. So let's zoom in. I'm going to start to spin and then I'm going to throw the rest of what I've got here onto this, onto this uh, spinning canvas. There we go. So let's set it going. Okay, so I've definitely got more purple this time. I've also got a nice spiral pattern going on. I've not quite got my paint to the edges. I've got a little bit left in the cut, but what I'm gonna try and do is just grab one of these points and see if I can spin it a little bit more, spin the existing paint out to these corners and hopefully um, thin some of that paint too. So let's give that a try. See if I can do that without creating a disaster. <laughs> Okay, that worked. We've definitely got coverage all the way out to these corners now, so that means I don't have to do anything to, to lift it and tip it, so that's really good. Okay, so that's actually nice. I like that a lot. I like the fact that it's got a spiral. There's a, a darker spiral here, and all of the, the purple is creating some really nice veins. It actually looks like really quite marbled effect. So I think with the extra bit of purple, that was a good choice. There's not much in the way of many, much green here. There's a little green on the outside, a little bit of the pink, but it's funny how some colours seem to really take over in a pour, isn't it? I mean, I was expecting a little bit more purple, but this one's very purple. So, oh, I can see some more colours coming through now as little bits and pieces are developing. So without further ado, I'm just going to get in there and give it some torching and then see what happens. Whoa, it's going crazy. Oh, I'm out of gas. Come on, torch, the last few little bits. Wow, now that does look nice. 
So I'm going to leave that to settle a minute while I go and re refill my torch and I'll just go over it one more time. I can actually see I've got a little bit there which is missing some paint so I'll get my brush and fill that in too. So I can see I've got a couple of areas, just two very tiny spots, just one here and one here where the paint for some reason hasn't covered. But what I've got is a, a wet paint brush and I think if I just touch these edges I'll be able to encourage the paint. Yep, there we go. And just lightly encourage it to fill in that spot. For some reason it didn't run there. But now we're good. And no one will ever know. Oh, there's another one just here. Three for luck, right? Let's fill that one in too. Lovely. Better give it a good once over. Get down there and have a real good look at the surface if there's any other areas. Okay. I think we're good. So now I've got a bit more gas in my torch. I'm just going to give it another quick once over, see if I can get anything more to come through. Whoa, there we go. That's what the gas does. Whoops. I think that's our lot. Or I'm going to start melting this plastic here. I seem to have a little lump just there. Is it a lump? I say it's never that good. I don't know what it is, a little bit of skin. There's a tiny little bit of gunk. That's it, that's all good. Glad I spotted that before it dried, because it would have dried and left a, a lump there in the paint. So I'm just taking a look from the sides, kind of low down over the surface in each direction. See if I can see any more lumps. Everything, oops, everything looks good. Okay, so again, not entirely my choice of colour scheme. Um, very pastel, although I do like the purple in this area in the centre here is nice. So I think this is another keeper so far. Uh, I'm going to bring the camera down now, show you some of these details. Now we look at that in the centre. Wow, that's really lovely. Very, very nice indeed. So I was glad that I got that. That was just a lucky bit really and you can see also the you know the purple veins where the purple has kind of worked its way through so I think it's very nice again there's not an awful lot of contrast because it's very pastel in nature but uh, I think once I get it off the turntable we'll be able to get a better idea of um, what it's going to look like without all of this leftover paint which is span off around the outside but it certainly looks very nice quite subtle so for people who like a more you know pastel and subtle approach I think this is a bit more for you so hang on to the end and I'm going to come back and show you what it looks like when it's all dry and finished so here it is finished all glossed and varnished and looking lovely and um, although it's quite subtle there are some really nice details this is nice here and here and the edges with the, the colors and things so I do like it um, I think it's definitely a keeper. So thank you very much for watching. This has been another success and I've enjoyed using some different colours for a change and of course anything that involves throwing paint around on a, a circular uh, surface is going to be much more fun. So thanks very much for watching. Um, check out the links on the side for other videos that you can have a look at in the series and of course hop on over to the acrylic pouring store and stock up on your supplies. See you soon.